hosting live at Guiyang City in Southwest China's Guizhou Province. And I think that science is something we all marvel at, and art is is something that everybody likes. But what happens when science meets art, and what outcome will those two give birth to? Here we are at the digital art uh, exhibition. Now we're going to make an exploration of what will happen when science meets art. Now, follow me, and we will get inside the exhibition center. Okay. It will be a little bit dark here since uh, everything is on display here, and I suppose I was supposed to be try to be quiet here. So if you have any questions, you can leave comments on our page. Uh, I'll try to un answer the questions. So when we get close to the curtain here, there are some shining spots will come out. It's like a Chinese traditional ink painting. But it was projected on this curtain. It's like the patterns are floating. So that's how the uh, modern science is making changes of the traditional art. The same in this exhibition center is digital art. So it's more like we combine the strengths of both science and technology and art together. And this area is called the flow of a metropolis. And they say city and economy alter every single second. So it's this kind of infinite space extends the pace of metabolism in the city and its economic development. This art piece uses uh, some algorithm to generate motion lines and form some structures of iconic architectures in the city of Guizhou. And it uses the art of mathematics and, and some new media technology to illustrate the ever-changing scenery and uh, ever-changing scenery and also the problems encountered between the main city and the economic development during the rapid expansion of the city. So that's the scene of this area, the flow of a metropolis. Okay. Um, here we are. This area is called a digital bamboo forest. So this area it is trying to imitating a forest. And we can see there are some branches. This, those are branches. And down here are some columns. And we can see here we have four lightning triggers. If we put our hands on this trigger, we have to got four people on each side of the trigger. You see? Some music will just come out. Um, yeah, we need we need someone to take the place of the other five or other three triggers and we will see what will happen if
Yeah. You see, the lightings are changing. The lightings here are changing. This area, it seems, is to pursue the light. As you can see, uh, light sometimes can represent the dream of a human being. So actually, pursue the light is the quest of pursuing a dream. So this is what the artist is trying to express. And I was told that uh, they use a kind of technology called 3D holographic uh, projection. I'm just messing around with this dotted, these light dots. Here there are a lot. There are also some visitors. Visitors here, they are experiencing the charm of science and art here. And I'm gonna find someone to tell us what's the trick here in this area. Touch those uh, water drops; they all will turn green. Yes, and uh, can, that, she can also change it into different colors, like yellow, uh, maybe, blue. Maybe uh, we can change. Okay, red. Change red. Yeah. 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 See, if if we just put it down here, every water drop will just turn into the color of it. 
It's quite fascinating, right? We can have a different color. Blue. Yeah, this is the color of blue. Let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> This is the centerpiece of this digital art exhibition. I think uh, it represents the connection between every person, every city, and every country. It probably uh, stands for what connectivity means. Yeah, it, it, it will act for us. Everyone, come here. Yeah. Uh, it will show us. You know, 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 you 1.5 meter away from it, you will start to put on a performance, a light performance, as we are seeing right now. And for any newcomers joining in our live show, we are Xinhua broadcasting live on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. We are at a digital art exhibition center now at Guiyang City in Southwest China's Guizhou Province. At the moment, the International Dig Big Data Industry Expo was on hold. So this, is, this digital art exhibition is one part of the expo. Okay. And we can move on to the next area. This work is named uh, uh, Deep Space of Universe. Oh. Yeah. And uh, we can uh, see the spring, the flash. Uh, so it, it, it represents stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every star stands for our dream. Yes, our, our dreams. And the world will become very beautiful just because of our dreams. So she says that she said that uh, every star here represents our dream, and it's like an infinite space of a universe. So the world is so large, so as the universe. So this lady just asked the robot to try to sing a song. So this is uh, an interactive robot. So everyone who stand on the little platform here and give deliver some orders, uh, the robot will just do as 
what the what he or she says. Okay. And what we are going to see here is called less eager is more. It's it's like a futuristic space here. Us is a water as a waterfall. It's not an actual waterfall, but more like a digital waterfall. And beside the waterfall, there sits a young lady. She will play us some music. Music. Using Chinese traditional three-stringed instrument, it's actually not an instrument, but yeah, we can see actually sounds that is making the trick here. There are no strings, but the lady just can make some music out of it. See that there are actually no strings under her fingertips. Under her fingertips. Fireworks and also lanterns. And we can uh, write something on those lanterns. Some will sound just right. Some people just write they wish a harmonious, yes, they wish a harmonious family and they wish they can be re reunited with their lovers. Yes. shows the vision of the artist of what he thinks uh, the future the, uh, the futuristic life will be with fireworks with lanterns with beautiful night views
This is the end of our journey in the digital, digital art exhibition center. For those people who happen to be watching our live show, we, we're going to say that we have to wrap up our today's live show here. And if you happen to like our show, please leave a message or sum up our pages at Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Thanks for watching our show. See you next time. Bye.